Welcome to World Breaker Coo's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coo, and today we're looking at G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes and Timber. And um, they're Alpha Commandos, as it says in the box. Okay, it's pretty cool. Artwork is pretty decent. I swear I've seen this guy before. And the side of the artwork is just about the same. Yeah, about there. Okay. Enough of that. Let's get to the review. Um, we'll start with Snake Eyes. Um, this is the Snake Eyes I'm familiar with when I was a kid. Um, you got the ninja costume on later. But this is just basically a beachhead. Parts of it anyway. Let's find out for sure. There we go. And you can see he shares a lot of the same pieces, especially like the the arms are from Beachhead, the neck, and the I think the underlayer. Yeah, that's all Beachhead. The chest portion here is new. Um the grenade is new. Let's look to the back. Well, let's take this backpack off of Beachhead first so we can actually really get a feel for the vest. Vest is different. Pants pockets are the same. So does that mean the legs are the same? Because the butt's the same. Butt is the same. Legs are boots are different. Okay. So he's like a mishmash. Okay. But I really dig him. Um, I think it's nice. Um, for one, he comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with this gun right here. I don't even know what it's called. I know I played on COD somewhere. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with this gun from being in the military, so it is what it is. Then he comes with this knife, if I can get it out, the sheath. And it has some nice paint on there. Except mine's kind of cut up. Let's stop moving the camera. So, nice little sheath that actually is functional and works. Uh, I wish he had the boot uh, knife holder there thingy and he has a gun that you can put the silencer on uh as usual then he has his old-fashioned um uzi right here that i wish the other one would have come with but it's okay i gave him i gave my other snake eyes that same uzi but that's not it um he also comes with this weapon as well and i mean he comes with a whole bunch but he can't hold all his weapons on him like a lot of the classified figures which is unfortunate. Let me bring in the other uh, snake eyes. Now, if you look at my other snake eyes, you can tell they're both the same weapon, but the scale is definitely much larger in the one that came with Punisher, Marvel Legends Punisher. So, yeah. But, like I said before, when I showed you this, these three eyes in you know, my last video, I hope it was my last video, um, you can see we got three snake eyes. I've got one more coming. It's, I think they've had four. Uh, so far and I have I never got the original one the zero zero, but it is what it is. I got this one um, So that's all three of them together. I still like this one the best, but I think this is a close second for sure very close second so yeah, no sword this time, but That's not to be uh, Shocked or anything like that articulation is pretty average. Okay, nothing spectacular, but nothing uh, bad or anything like that drop down hips he can still get his commando on. It's just a nice, nice figure. It really is. It feels nice in hand. It feels firm. He just it looks like he's getting ready to go wreck some shop. Looks like he should be part of DMX or something. I don't know. So it's 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 nice. And then if you don't like this backpack on the old Snake Eyes, I feel like it goes perfect on the commando version. Look at that man. Now he looks like he could. He's gonna be in the wilderness for a while and hunting. And he just needs one more thing, and that's his boy, Timber. So let's get Timber in here. And Timber is my boy. Um, this wolf is just amazing. Let's look at the head scope first here. With the mouth closed. That is beautiful. Not sure when I'm going to put this head on, because this one right here reminds me of NWO Wolfpack. Come on, focus. That's beautiful. My God. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. 
So yeah, I'm very, very happy with the size of the wolf. It could still be a tad bit small, larger because wolves are a little bit bigger than that. But well, the Greece gray wolves that I'm thinking they're build, building it based off of. But it looks it looks nice, man. That's that's freaking nice. I mean, just beautiful. I'm gonna compare him with some of my other pets I have from other lines or animals. So let's pause the video now. All right, let's focus here. So yeah, there's some of the pets I have from other Marvel Legends and Marvel Select. You've got this. Um, Walking shark thing that has no articulation. Um, then we have the Hawkeye's dog from Marvel Select. No articulation. We've got this bad boy here that does have articulation. Right there. He can wiggle his, wiggle his butt. That's pretty good. I love the shading on this guy. Um, he can move his legs back and forth. Forth. He can... I don't think... Yeah, he can't do the pee. He can't do the dog pee. But he can do like something like that. Um, can he sit... Kinda. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. Move his arms. He's really articulated well. Even down to his paws. I mean, the guy is just a feat. And no pun intended, look at his paws. Gosh. They really killed this one. They need to go ahead and get us a whole pack. I'm sure we'll probably see this somewhere down the line with maybe Wolverine or some other character that try to put him in there. So, I like it. I actually love it, in fact. So, yeah. Timber's, Timber is a, one of the stars of the pack. Even his tail's articulated. Let's get Wolverine in here with him. That looks pretty damn cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, yeah. Overall, I mean, Timber, if I had to give Timber a, a score out of 10, he'd get a 9.9. .9. Straight up 9.9. .9. Um, I don't know what else you can really do. I mean, his paws are a little bit tricky to kind of get even and level because it's four legs you have to kind of play with. But once you get them all even and on the ground, he looks great. Looks great. I mean, I'm really digging it. But for some reason, I feel like one leg is longer than the other. I don't know what's going on here. But this one definitely seems like it's longer. I know that's, I don't think that's the case, but boy, does it feel like that when I'm posing him. Yeah, it's like one leg just always seems to be a bit off the ground. All right, so there we go. Um, enough of me rambling on. Um, this set, if I had to give Snake Eyes, that's what I attend. He'd be 9.5. I think this pack is a 9.5. 7, 9.8 out of 10. It's a fun pack. Probably my favorite G.I. Joe figure set of the year. Um, they killed it. They absolutely killed this one. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Until next time, peace and don't turn your back on the Wolf Pack.